cheered you on for six years straight. And with that, I would assume we went to the same PR training. Shut the fuck up. But since all of that obviously left your brain when you went to go give that speech, I thought I'd be a good coworker. Shut the fuck up. Share my notes. Let's get started. These are fake. Everything you're selling is fake. Biggest takeaway is you now represent a billion dollar organization. You are no longer just stairs and Butker. You're the most annoying person in the world. You are now Harrison Buckhart, who plays for the Kansas City Chiefs. And anything you say or do that doesn't align with that brand, scissoring just like the lesbians you hated in that video. Finally, we are back. Oh, the delusional woke people never stop. This woman, oh boy, this woman, she is something else. Former, former NFL cheerleader. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's out here on social media, running her mouth nonstop. Listen, people are kind of forgetting this speech uh, was given on Mother's Day. That's rarely brought up. People talk about this, but this woman is just acting like she's so offended. Oh, oh, trying to keep women down. Girl, you're a cheerleader. Calm down. I get it. Hey, you know what? You did it at an um. Yo, know, a very high level, I will give you that. Good job, great job. I have no clue what you're doing now. I don't care, I had no clue who you were before. I still literally just forgot your name. Literally forgot your name. And <laughs> I just saw it uh, while I was, you know, I'm trying to, you know, watch the clip. Yeah, so if that tells you right there, yeah, you need to chill out, you need to relax, I get it. I get it, you're very upset. Uh, you think you're funny, you think you're quirky or whatever. Yeah, you're just freaking annoying. She's very annoying, you can tell. She's one of those just very annoying people that think they're the main character that are constantly, constantly just walking up to people and telling them they're, they're all their thoughts in their, in their head. And if, uh, if you don't agree with them, oh, you're wrong. Okay, whatever. Just keep making your videos. Relax. Calm down. It's not that big of a deal. It's just really not. It's really not. This person is a is a freaking, you know, he's you know, literally won the Super Bowl. Right? You're you're just a, at this point, I mean you're a former I think she's a former cheerleader. You're a former cheerleader just online bitching. Calm down. She was right. That noise was annoying as f Car sounds a hell of a lot better now. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta get him out of there. There's no point in... Hey, if women do not bring joy to your life, they're not adding to your life, get them out of there. Seriously. It's the whole point. You know, women are supposed to be adding to a man's life. And vice versa. I mean, come on. If you're, if you're a piece of crap, man, what makes you think you deserve a good woman? You don't. You'll probably get one though. <laughs> and then she'll, you know, yeah, yeah, she'll just, you know, that won't work out. And then she'll just have a tainted view of what relationships are supposed to be forever. So thanks for that. Good job on being a on being a piece of crap man out there. But anyway, anyway, uh, if you're not a piece of crap man, you know, and if you're kind of in the middle, level up. Get there, make yourself better, get a decent woman. Don't be good with all these women, these women with these these, these, you know, posting all their stuff online. These are not the type of women you should be lusting after. Never, ever, ever, ever give these women a dime. Because I'm not going to participate in your delusion. And my thing is, like, you'll never meet a Republican that meet, uses pronouns. It's just a fact. It's only Everybody the Everybody uses pronouns. Just Everyone some people choose to Okay, well, my their pronouns, pronouns now for the rest of the time are pretty princess. I'm proud of you. You know that. I hope you do. No, everybody does not. They do not all use pronouns. That's ridiculous. I've never been like, hey, I'm a he, him, or whatever. Actually, I mean, really, today, I feel like I identify more as um, Sylvester Stallone from the 90s, you know, around like the cliffhanger time, you know, that that's who I am, and that's who I feel like today. And if you don't refer to me as Sylvester Stallone from the 90s, 
you know, around the time he was filming a um, cliffhanger movie, then I'm going to be very upset with you. Do you see how that logic makes no sense? You know I'm not Sylvester Stallone from the 90s around, you know, around the time he was filming a cliffhanger movie. Doesn't make any damn sense. How are we taking the rights of women away if we don't know what a woman is? Nailed it. Honestly, that's a pretty good point. We can't even define a woman. And we're gonna sit there and basically be like, I don't know, be like, yeah, we're, we're just taking away rights of women, which we're not. Name one right a woman doesn't have. You can't. Na name a name name a right or or whatever like an actual right that a white man has that literally every other race and ever and all the females have in America. Do you see? Nobody's taking away any rights. Nobody's nobody's trying to do that. That's ridiculous to, to say that. That's ridiculous to think that. I do have a child that identifies as a cat. He is 14 years old. And then I also have a five-year-old daughter and she just came out to me as a lesbian earlier this week. What the fuck? Um, and then I also have a seven-month-old that I don't know their gender or sexuality yet because they're too young to decide. They can't even talk yet. So my, oh, I'm good. Thank you. my son, the 14-year-old that identifies as a cat, his name is Hermie, and then my middle daughter, um, my middle child, her name's Clydia, and then my youngest name is Plushy. So I used a gender neutral name for my last kid since I decided I was going to raise them with they them pronouns because I didn't want to assume their gender. Since my other two kids um, are part of the LGBT community, I wanted to make life easier for my youngest kid. Stop talking! Yeah, I think it's safe to say this one is doing a, her children a lot of harm. This is ridiculous. If your children are out here identifying as a cat, you need to be like, no, you're not a cat. Don't encourage it. N no, this dressing up crap. I mean, they're doing up to a freaking furry smell like B.O. all the time with greasy hair. Don't do that. Don't encourage that. Why would you want to do that? They identifies as whatever if, if you know if, if your if your daughter says she likes girls and she's freaking you know six seven eight years old or whatever then be like you're you're freaking eight years old you need you need to chill out you don't need to be you know like worried about that crap now you need to relax you need to calm down you need to be a kid it's just you know and if that thing is that if that's something they still feel when they're an adult then they're an adult and they're free to explore that and unless it's like being a furry then still you know be like no 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 you're not doing all that now calm down go we're not playing that game but yeah um and, and the odds <laughs> why are there some we've talked about this before on this channel why are there like certain parents that all their children end up you know something there's something they gotta, you know, and I think it's problem with society as a whole, but I mean, these parents particularly, yeah, I mean, it, you, it's almost like they're being influenced. Yeah, I mean, you know, and society itself is, is constantly like, oh, you gotta be special or whatever. And, and the way to be special is to be different. It's not even that different anymore, is to be whatever, anything but just straight. Just, you know, don't be straight. You know, don't be a human in a lot of cases, which is ridiculous that that's even a thing now that people are identifying as just random whatever, you know? I mean, there are people out here, okay? People out here that are, you know, that are freaking basically like think they're anime characters, right? Like legitimately, like they are like, it seems like pretty legit anyway. They are like that, that far gone and that insane. They are just like living their life as a whole other character and they think this is fine. They think this is acceptable and this is, they want you to accept it. And if you don't accept it, something's wrong with you. Ah, come on now, relax. These women out here, ah, I don't know, man. The the women are delusional right now. It's, it's insane. It really is and it's sad. It's sad. 
you know, and we gotta, we gotta get him help. We gotta get him help. You know, send him my video. I'm sure that'll make him very happy. <laughs> they'll, they'll like that. You know, if, if anything, if anything, I mean, you know, these women, especially in this video, I think they're very reasonable. Very reasonable people. I think they'll definitely listen to logic, especially that last one. <laughs> feel like if you tried to like reason or use logic with her, her freaking brain would explode. And she just couldn't comprehend the fact that, you know, maybe your kids aren't all these things. Maybe, you know, don't set your child up for failure, you know, by just assuming they're going to be whatever, uh, you know, before they're even born basically, or whenever they're a very small child, that's dumb and that's stupid. And at the end of the day, ma'am, you're the problem. Wake up, Anthony James, tell me 